Hey guys, uh, thank you for stopping by. In the last couple of videos I made some tutorials and uh, how-to videos. I reviewed one of the duffel bags, uh, dry bags for your motorcycle. Then I reviewed the Armadillo fuel bladder by Giant Loop. I made a couple of videos about how to change the brakes on the front and back of the Africa Twin. And uh, the last one that I just published would be the front tire change with the Bahano Pinch Tool. So I was quite busy with a few of making those videos uh, in the last couple of weeks. Uh, but today uh, I decided to head out for a short ride and maybe experiment with the drone uh, some more. Um, I tried that in the past uh, to make the drone uh, to follow me. Uh, today I will be working with uh, DJI Mavic Air 2. Lychee app for the Mavic Mini is acting up so I couldn't uh, try Mavic Mini because uh, they have some uh, bug in the software apparently. So I decided to take that uh, Mavic Air and see if I can make that follow me on a motorcycle. It has no problem following me when I'm walking, but as soon as I uh, tried last time when I went uh, and made a video to Indian graves uh, in, uh, near in Kalanaski's country, I couldn't uh, make that work. That just uh, it was just losing me immediately, pretty much, even though I was going super slow. So as you see, normally right here, you would have the view of the mountains, but. Uh, last week or almost even two weeks um, we have been experiencing major forest fires here in uh, Alberta so Alberta is on fire and the air quality isn't the best it doesn't bother me but some people are freaking out uh, yes you you will be breathing a little bit of smoke uh, out here but uh, to me that's not the end, end of the world, uh, life goes on. <laughs> tried on the wrong road and to begin with on the first attempt I know no success again uh, it follows for a little bit and then it's uh, losing you uh, it says that you're too too small uh, if you bring it closer it says it's, uh, it only detects people and vehicles so uh, obviously motorcycle in the DJI's book is not a vehicle I'm going to more calm location because uh, where I was monkeying around with I didn't expect that many cars on the country road, cars on the like, side of the country road. So I'm hoping uh, that I'll find something more isolated. And as we see, we're going for quite some time, no cars, but as soon as you pull over and start experimenting, the cars are showing up like they had to be there. Okay, let's try to launch that sucker. Okay, experimenting continues. It is windy, it is hazy. Start the recording first. There is a way to fly it manually, but 
how safe is that uh, while riding operating the joystick of your drone because I'm locked on myself it's tracking well, it's a, I set it as a point of interest and I have to go really, really slow but I'm very disappointed that I cannot do the active track actually So it's a second attempt, no luck. I will try to do that one more time when it's nicer. Hopefully we get some blue skies. Because with this weather also, uh, there might be a challenge once we get a more blue skies. Because with all that smoke in the air, everything is uh, blurry. Maybe that could be part of the problem too. Uh, why the drone is not picking up uh, how I would want it to because it's doing very very horrible and uh, I'm not really impressed uh, with that purchase I tell you guys so I gotta pack it up uh, go a little bit more riding somewhere nothing major because uh, the main reason for today's ride was to test this sucker so hopefully I would be able to get some better footage, uh, aerial footage, once we, when we are riding out in the beautiful countryside. Uh, another option may be going into and selling both of my drones, uh, Mini and uh, Mini 2 and Air 2, and get a Skydio. Because definitely if you want to film your motorcycle rides, uh, Skydio is the way to go. Uh, when I purchased them a couple years ago, I didn't know any better, unfortunately. And I got those guys, and after you start researching, you're learning more. But uh, Skydio is also not a popular drone to buy um, in your local uh, stores like uh, Best Buy or whichever and they are quite hefty pricey I think you're looking way over two grand for Skydio uh, if you want to have one great day to go for a ride it sucks that I couldn't get the air too to go into active truck that's kind of bummer well what can you do hopefully next time uh, we'll get more luck I'm going to wrap up this video now 
Uh, this weekend it's a May long weekend. It will not be a riding weekend for a change. I'm going with the family camping. Um, gotta take care of the family before uh, we head out to uh, Utah with the family. That's the plan of vacation this year. So definitely I'm gonna probably f I'm going to film some more stuff in Utah. Uh, a little bit from a different perspective as a normal tourist, not on a motorcycle like uh, last two visits. I was there by myself. But this time time to take the family out. The wife is uh, excited and the daughter is excited. They want to see Utah and all the national parks. So we will be there for like um, close to two weeks, I believe. So that should give us, give us most uh, time to explore all the parks uh, and attractions um, in uh, this beautiful state. And I have to say that again, uh, Utah is one of my favorite states. It's uh, one of the most diverse uh, state and, uh, from sceneries and uh, the mountains. Uh, yeah, if uh, anyone is planning a trip down there, there's so much to see. Uh, hiking, camping, there's so much dispersed camping, like uh, you can camp for free and most likely that's what we will be doing, we'll be just hitting the campsites uh, once in a while to empty the, and refill the trailer, uh, septic tanks and so on. And uh, yeah, after we come back from Utah it will be time to head out to Idaho. Actually, I will be coming back by myself uh, because the wife is heading out to visit the family in the States uh, for a couple of weeks. Uh, so most likely we will get her and my daughter a flight from Salt Lake City and she's gonna fly to New Hampshire. So that's the plan for them and for me I'll be heading out from Salt Lake City straight home because uh, I will have like two days to return uh, and uh, repack everything and jump on a bike and head out. So there's gonna be a little bit of planning involved uh, so I'm as much ready as possible and uh, so I don't have to slow the guys down uh, when I come back with all these shenanigans that uh, will be happening in the um, end of June, July. I'll try to get the bike ready, actually it is pretty much ready at this point, but uh, I'll try to pack it before I leave to Utah, this way uh, I will be ready to depart. Uh, once I come back I uh, just sleep and go again, this way I won't be wasting any time and uh, rushing so I forget uh, something, I don't like forget things when I'm going for longer rides on the motorcycle. Everything is important, I gotta think through what's needed, what's not needed, and so on. So yeah, anyways, uh, this is it, I'm just getting close to home. I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you like the content on this channel, even today is not nothing that exciting, hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers!